So, as you can tell, it is still chucking it down. Uh, I was going to try and get a nice little intro video, but uh, we saw some timings and this horrific weather. It's, I just thought it wasn't worth it. So, uh, he's going to look at me for the next uh, for the next few minutes. So, uh, this is leg two. Uh, we're off to Helsinki. We're in Billund at the moment in uh, North Denmark. And uh, Helsinki is going to be about three hours and Forty-five minute flight. So just uh, topped up with fuel, taking 160 liters. Topped it up full of icing fluid as well because we'll unfortunately probably need quite a lot of that. And uh, yeah, so what I'll do, let's get the airplane uh, on so we can. <laughs> Right, so for the important in the flight plan, he's given us a uh, Albino 6 Alpha departure on runway 27. So, uh, procedure, uh, select departure. Albino, Albino. It's going to be that one, just got to double check, I'm not getting mad. There you go. Albino 6 Alpha, so right turn to BI136. So, just get this uh, screen recording going. There you go, so right turn to BI136. 1364, yeah, brilliant. So we can pop that in as well. That's excellent. So uh, I'm going to put a look at that plate. So we're going to type 56 or 1500, then also approach, which we will uh, do. Approach 127, 575, 27, 275, 275. Five. Oh, I'm 560, we need to change. So right there. All the nines, that will make sense. Uh, so, pre startup checks, that's all looking good. Fuel from main off, they can now go off, and we'll just do the enunciated test. That looks good, that's there, and I think we are ready for uh, ready for taxi. Yeah. And November 40, Lima Romeo, cross taxi. November Lima Romeo, taxi to holding plane runway 27 via taxiway Charlie. Taxi to point 27 via Charlie, November 40, Lima Romeo. All right, off blocks at uh, zero 05. Looks good all around. Tax line goes on. So up is the first, Bob is the second, Charlie's the third. Yeah, so it should be quite a long flight this morning. The weather in Helsinki is uh, windy, <laughs> very windy actually, and uh, the clouds coming down as well. Hopefully we'll miss the worst part of it, but um, we just can't wait to see, to be honest with you. But what I can do is I can do a flapless departure on this one. There you go, I'll see you. Uh, November Lima Romeo, do you need run-up? Hey, sir, we need about two minutes for run-up. November Lima Romeo. Roger. Right there, the holding point. So on the brakes, engine page. TTPs all look good for the run-up, so we can do the ECU swap. Parking brakes holding, covering just in case. So that's the second cycle that's going through. Got the uh, ECU AMB fails with the two per engine. Yeah, that's all looking good. So pre takeoff checks, only light goes on. Peter Heat can go on. Fuel pumps one, fuel pumps two. Flaps will keep up for this one. Alternate air stowed with the gear. 
and the uh, store heat fail. Uh, parking brake will do in a second, and uh, cross feeds are now closed. Trim set for takeoff, and there. Excellent. So, final look at the uh, actual departure here. So, uh, yeah, two six four, not seven hundred feet, but not before one D. Then turn right. So we've got the DME up on there as well. On the Lima, Echo okay, Lima, then turn right towards the RNAV point. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set up the flight directors. So we've got flight director, and uh, we're going to have nav, and uh, we're also going to have flight level change at uh, let's go for 100 knots just initially. Cool. Now I think I'm happy. Excellent. November 42, Lima Romeo Charlie, ready for departure. November Lima Romeo, line up uh, runway 27 away. Line up 27 away, November 2 Lima Romeo. Yeah, so I'll give it a healthy backtrack. Got 3,000 meters. So we go probably sort of midpoint. That gives us 15, that's more than adequate. November 42 Lima Romeo, wind 20 degrees, 4 knots, runway 27 cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 27 November 42 Lima Romeo. Right, and there's one straight takeoff time, 10 past 09.10. Right, all is good inside, I'm happy with everything that's going on, everything is set, final sweep, that looks good. Right, take off. So, holding on the brakes. And full power both engines. 100%, 2,300, fuel flow 9.3, everything looks good, take off. Never arrived, mate. That's a bit alive, it's a bit all good. Nice, you can actually see out the windscreen. And that's where it's at. Just keep the gear out for the time being. Not interested in landing, so the gear can now come up. Excellent. All right, what's part of can go on? Right, that's past one D and seven hundred feet. So that's the next waypoint. Expecting a right turn. The aircraft does the right turn. I can bring the engines back. Next event is called the uh, radar at 1500 feet. Landing light comes off, P2 remains on, fuel pumps 1, fuel pumps 2 come off, everything else looks normal. Trimmer doing its job. Outside air temperature 8 degrees. And a bit above 40, the Romeo passing 1500 feet to Berlin radar, 12755. November Lima Romeo, contact below on approach 127, decimal 575. Good day. Good day. Good approach. Good morning. November 42, Lima Romeo, 1,900 cleared, 6,000 on an Albino 6 Alpha. November Lima Romeo, radar contact, climb flight level 120, proceed direct to Olano. 120, direct to Olano, November 40, Lima Romeo. Right, that's a cheeky uh, direct there. And November Lima Romeo, please set Squawk 0205. Squawk 0205, November 40 Lima Romeo. Wonderbar. Right, all the way to 120, and uh, yeah, transition out to 3000 feet, so we can now put standard bar on. 
Uh, so go PFD option, standard bar over there. I'm just going to increase the uh, speed on the autopilot because it's uh, varying a little bit. And 1013 on the uh, standby up here. Approach, I'll be angry on about Delta, we're finished with airwork. Uh, we have the vectors for ILS runway 27 full stop. Crossbow Delta, roll out heading uh, 340. Roll out heading 340, Crossbow Delta. Better get me oxygen ready. Uh, what's the wings looking like? Pretty good actually so far. Temperature 4 degrees, that's why. Well, that's not going to change fairly shortly. Yeah, so nothing too drastic. Delta, on the weather at the moment. And turn left heading uh, uh, to clear. So a few ready bits, but we'll see what it looks like once we start to uh, climb up a bit further. It'd be nice if we get a break in the cloud. I really want to sort of try and avoid using as much icing fluid on this uh, leg as possible. There you go, flight level 50 from 120. Temperature outside, 2 degrees. Right, what's that air is uh, on. Yeah, so, uh, zooming out. Basically, he's given us a direct to, uh, oh, my favourite island, Visby. And then uh, onto Helsinki after that, so he's cut a few corners for us, which is quite nice. We uh, filed for 170, uh, we're going to see him at the top, so I might see if we can get 180, the winds aren't favourable, but it's, uh, but hopefully we'll get it out of some of the uh, rougher air. Yes, yeah, so it's still definitely moisture on the wings, but it does look like icing is starting to pick up a little bit. Yeah, there's ice, there you go, so icing system goes on to normal. outside. Yeah, so sorry, I couldn't really do a uh, nice sort of intro to that one. Um, it was raining, there's lots going on. I had a, uh, a slot at Helsinki, which I happened to meet, so uh, yeah, it's um, unfortunately on that, uh, on that time, the uh, flying... Hey, there you go, turning the icing, icing system off for the time being. I wonder why do we all get on this. So, uh, yeah, for the, uh, basically, the flying has to take the priority in a way, so I managed to get the cameras on, but uh, I'll see if we can edit the footage, make it look half decent, but uh, no promises. Yeah, right, back to this old chestnut. Someone complimented me on my amazing moustache here today. Uh, so, we've got plenty, plenty of oxygen. We've got about 16, uh, 1600 PSI. Which would uh, it's more than enough to get to Helsinki back. Yeah, so uh, yeah, but it's amazing how much pressure it actually adds to you. Uh, you know, when the weather's terrible, it wasn't horrifically bad, but when you're just wet and a little bit miserable, it's just sort of trying to deal with it all as well as uh, everything else that's going on. So uh, yeah, it makes it a lot more uh, makes it you know, a lot more sort of hard work, and uh, occasionally you do miss things, which I miss. I miss something on that departure. I forgot to put the squawk in. Um, fairly standard simple thing, should have picked it up, you know, and it's uh, just because there's, uh, you know, sort of busy concentrating on other things, you know, you just sort of uh, skip it across. Orsted Operations, Orsted Operations, Viking 2 Alpha Hotel. I did not realise that, that was that frequency. Yeah. So anyway, we're on our way now, we're going to get up to the uh, cruise, I'm going to see if we get 180, see if we can get above all of it, which would be a huge bonus for me, and, um, and then, uh, sort of, to take assessments, I think the weather is going to be pretty minging in Helsinki. Uh, we just got to deal with it, frankly. Uh, but it is what it is. There you go, it's 10,000 feet. I'll pull my oxygen tip. And yeah, the ball is. Do, 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 flowing. There you go. Perfect. There you go. So, not an awful lot to see out the window at the moment, so uh, what I'll do, I'll get to the top of the climb and I'll turn the cameras back on and uh, I'll speak to you guys then. Cheers. Right, so uh, yeah, he's joining me for the cruise now. So we've got a nice direct, which cut off a lot of uh, lots of sorts of fucking bouts on the route to Alano, which is uh, over Visby, which is an absolutely gorgeous island. And we've actually just got into a nice uh, visibility as well. I'm just going to pop this camera up for dash there. That is, uh, that's the type of weather that I want all the time. 
Yeah, looks gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, in the uh, in the cruise, so uh, having like destination Helsinki on this screen. Uh, I think we're going to get there. It's uh, with uh, about three hours time with uh, 30 gallons of fuel on board, which is uh, more than sufficient. We get there with 30 gallons of fuel. We will pick up a headwind uh, a little bit later, so we'll expect that to decrease. But uh, I use sort of uh, you know conservative figure. For final reserves, I use 10 gallons for this, and uh, to get to our sense as well. Uh, which is just over five, you know, it puts us in a fairly comfortable place. So uh, that's that. So uh, the routing is actually fairly simple now. There is uh, meant to be quite a lot of build up with weather extension. You can see sort of the weather build up uh, just on the horizon. Uh, there's some clouds actually coming ever so slightly above uh, our level. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, scoot around them some way. But the difficult decision I've got to make is if you have a look on the uh, satellite weather now. Uh, the weather at the moment, if we go on more weather, the winds uh, next, I don't know, 180 what we're cruising at. You can see that we've actually got a crosswind at the moment, which is very shortly going to turn into a headwind, and not a particularly great one. You're going to get sort of 20 knots on the nose, and then it's going to sort of veer off a little bit, not be that consistent. So uh, on a long leg like this, you know, I much prefer to have the, uh, the tailwind. So if you go previous and then down to 90, and you can actually see the wind's going in a complete other direction. It would actually give us a 30 knot tailwind. But the only problem is that puts us banging all the precipitation um, and all the nasty stuff that we don't really want to be in. So it's going to be a trade off between saving the. Sort of November Lima Romeo, you're now cleared by Alami. Direct Alami, November 14 Lima Romeo. Direct Alami, November 14 Lima Romeo. There you go. So. They love the directs, these scandies, don't they? There you go, that's a nice little left turn. Next alarming. And that more or less is uh, straight into Helsinki as well. So going back onto satellite weather, yeah, so it's just going to be a bit of a toss up between what I do, whether I choose to descend and sort of brave it in the cloud, or whether I stick on top of the cloud and stick with the headwind. Um, I think ultimately what I'm going to do is just keep a very keen eye on how much fuel we've got on board and what the weather's doing in our destination because it is really windy um, you know it's going to get up to this sort of gusting 30 knots with a slight crosswind component and the clouds coming down to um, it's going to be broken 600 broken 400 feet so it's uh, yeah it's going to be uh, a bit more of a difficult time so we've just got to see what happens there but uh, just for now i'm enjoying it uh, looking at the four five briefing there's a little going to be a little bit of clear air it's uh, sort of cropping around this area but uh, I'll believe that when I see it, and uh, yeah, just going to, I've uh, got my sandwiches, it's, uh, no idea what sandwich you've got actually. Uh, there you go, chicken with pork, sage and onion, right, my breath's going to smell fantastic, but I'm all over. So, I've uh, got my sandwich, uh, I've got a nice little uh, snack as well, um, I'm not going to drink because I don't want to have a bottle of water then, you know, have to sort of hold it in for three hours, so I'm going to leave that for a little bit later on, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy, just sort of enjoy sort of flying over this area, so uh, yeah, what I'll probably do if anything significant happens, I'll give you an update as we uh, get along, so uh, see you in a bit. Uh, you're right guys, so uh, you join us, we're just over, uh, just sort of departed east uh, Switzerland mainland. Um, and you've got the uh, Isle of uh, Visby, I think it is, yeah, is it Visby? Visby, sorry. Uh, which I've been once before in a helicopter, it's an absolutely gorgeous place, you know, desperate to sort of go back uh, as a tourist, whenever the world sort of opens up again. Uh, yeah, so we've got this sort of long transit across the uh, across the water now, which should then take us into Finnair 6 Echo Hotel, contact head, take control, 1, Which will take two, us two, into two, uh, two, Finnish airspace. 1, 3, 2, 7, 2, 5, And uh, uh, then we'll probably uh, sort of be in touch with Helsinki, uh, keep a good eye on the weather, I'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, we'll be looking to do one of the arrivals on, so I suspect it'll be runway 04, looking at the wind, I think the wind's 050 and it's, uh, it's about 20 gusting 30. With, uh, at the moment, the cloud's about 1,200 feet, but uh, I think it's going down to broken as 600, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a pretty amusing one. Uh, plus, with the cold temperatures, etc., it's going to be um, using a lot of ice. So we've got the uh, satellite weather here. Uh, sort of big picture, so you can see we've actually got a bit of headwind at the moment. So it's saying about 25. Uh, uh, so what's that about? 25 knots, so actually looking at headwind component we've actually got um, is significantly less than that, so the forecast is ever so slightly out. 
Uh, if you go on to more weather, and then that's wind at 180, which is uh, what we're at at the moment. So just going to zoom out and go all the way up to uh, da, 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 da. Helsinki, there you go, so the current weather 050, 21 knots, all the night, light rain, broken at 1200 feet, temperature 9, g.8, QNH 1, 008, and then tempo scattered at 1200, broken at 2. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it's uh, sort of patchy coming in and out, but I do know as the afternoon goes on, it is actually going to decrease. Our alternate at the moment. Tallinn. So, Echo Echo Tango November, uh, 0080 knots, so similar sorts of wind, 3,600 metres in shouts of rain, so that's new. Broken at 600 feet, they've got an hour less, so uh, we should be pretty cushy with that. Scattered, 1,300, Cuban Olympus, uh, 1110, and 1003 for the Q&H, with no SIG on that as well. So, uh, yeah, the uh, the weather's it's just not pleasant, it's, you know, it's, it's not the worst sort of visibility in cloud-wise. But uh, it's generally it's it's not the most sort of pleasant uh, weather out there. You know, it's also, it's, I suspect it will be bumpy down the RLS, and I will be working rather hard, and which is never easy going to you know, an international airport that you haven't been to before. One thing I have actually done is if you have a look at the uh, engine power here, I've uh, actually reduced it to 60. Um, when we're on 75% load, our fuel over destination, which is in this box here, that was coming to around 25. 24, which was more or less the bang on minimum fuel we needed to get to Tallinn. Um, using Tallinn as an alternate, so what I thought to do is to go into a more economical cruise setting, which is 60%. You've got various different ones, but at this level. So uh, the power settings up here, believe, on the, off the top of my head, are 75%, which is the recommended cruise, 60%, which is more economical cruise, and a long range cruise, which will be uh, 50%. And I decided just to go for sort of a bit of a middle, uh, middle ground of that and actually just take the uh, 60%, which has actually increased our fuel over destination to 32. And I suspect we'll probably pick up a little bit of a headwind on the way uh, on the way into uh, Helsinki. So uh, maybe we would expect to land with maybe 28 gallons or so, but it's I just wanted a more comfortable number. So sat up here, so basically with that new fuel flow, that new figure, uh, 120 knots indicated, which gives us a TAS of 160, we'd normally be at about 174. Flight level 180, and uh, the ground speed we've got at the moment is 152 knots, so it's calculating 9 knots worth of uh, headwind. Uh, we are in more or less constant cloud at the moment, so, I mean it is minus uh, 18 degrees. But uh, so it's more or less on the sort of the bottom bracket for, uh, you know, sort of freezing, uh, you know, sort of uh, for icing, should we say. But if you have a look at the wings, uh, basically they've just got that little film of Ron icing on top. And I'll just show you the right hand wing there. And uh, basically what I've been doing over the past hour or so is just uh, just flicking the ITA anti-icing on just uh, literally until the fluid starts coming out all over the wing. And then turn it off again and then it's also quite happily sort of gets rid of that. But uh, yeah, it's no uh, it's no sort of biggie. I'm quite happy to fly this. I got the alternator air open and the uh, the prop all seem uh, absolutely fine. There doesn't seem to be any ice there, so it's just a light bit of uh, rime ice on the uh, wings. Yeah, so as you can sort of see, looking at the uh, nose, there's just absolutely nothing to see. So uh, we had some nice views earlier, but uh, now we've sort of gone into the white stuff, and uh, it's a shame because we're flying over such a beautiful area as well. That it would have been awesome to see it, but. Uh, Maybe on the return show, you never know. So, uh, yeah, how long have we got? We've got an hour and uh, I think it's an hour and 40 when I started speaking to you. So, uh, yeah, an hour and 36 now. Quite a good way to sort of kill some doing this vlogging stuff. So, uh, we've got an hour and 36 to go. Uh, arrival time's 13, uh, 13.05 uh, Zulu, uh, which plus three hours will be, uh, uh, will be 16.05 uh, local. And uh, yeah, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably turn the cameras on again as we get a little bit closer and... Uh, yep, and four, five, yeah, like three we'll control, do the approach landing together. See you guys in a bit. Two, so a little bit of an update. Uh, halfway wedged in between uh, Sweden and Finland. Uh, we've got 158 miles to run until we get to our destination. And uh, yeah, we've uh, we built some decent fuel, which is good. Our landing time's pretty good as well. And uh, we'll wake up some time in the descent anyway. The only downside is there's a few sort of fluffy clouds. They're not showing too much on the weather radar, but um, I suspect we'll get a bit of bumps and a bit of ice. I finally managed to shift that little bit of rhyme ice. That was on the uh, 
window, uh, on the window, on the wing, but uh, I suspect we'll get that back very quickly. I'm trying to save the fluid. So, anyway, we've got the aces here 135.075 on box two. So, what we can do now, we can hear the RX, which is constant, we can actually listen to it. Seven kilometers, slight rain, scattered 800 feet, broken 1000 feet, temperature minor 2.8. QNH 1007, tempo visibility 7 kilometers, moderate rain, cloud scattered 1000 feet, broken 2000 feet. Advice on initial contact, you have information. Fox truck. This is Helsinki Banta, arrival information. Fox truck. At time 1150, except ILS approach. Arrival runway 04 left. Runway is wet. Contamination 100%. Wind depth 2 mm. Transition level 65. Wind 050 degrees 23 knots. Visibility 7 km. Light rain scattered 800 feet. Broken 1000 feet. Temperature minor 2.8. QNH 1007. Tempo visibility 7 km. Moderate. Rain November uh, apologies to that the forty Lima Romeo is up for us. November forty Lima Romeo contact Helsinki control the one two five decimal two two five. Five two two five, thanks good day, November forty Lima Romeo. Hello. There you go, so I thought I heard our voice over the radio. So we have Fox Shot, so we're expecting our last runway zero four left and uh, we'll get a star. Uh, it was one of the different stars which will uh, match up with uh, going for 04 left as well. So what I'll do is I'll go to uh, Helsinki and uh, basically just see what, see what they say. Helsinki Control, good afternoon, November 42, Lima Romeo, flight level 180, direct uh, dinner with information Fox Shop. November 42, Lima Romeo, Helsinki Control, radar connect, runway 04 left. Copy to a fallback for uh, 4 Right, so uh, not what we're going to do. Uh, okay. So let's get the plates out. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. I want an approach. No, sorry, I want an arrival. Uh, Dim farm, isn't it? We're going to. Yep. Bravo's 2 2 left, so we don't want that one. So let's try the Denver 4 Bravo. 7 4 left, 7 4 left, epic. So we're going to end up doing a Denver 4 Bravo. So what I can do, get my trusty camera up. There you go, so on flight plan, go procedure and select arrival. Uh, we haven't been cleared for it yet, so I'm going to load it. Whether we use it or not, I'm not entirely sure. Basically, just uh, sort of getting ahead of time. Uh, ahead of time. Uh, so, Denver 4 Bravo. Uh, Denver 4 Bravo. Uh, so, I'm having a quick look at the plates. Uh, Denver Paxton and HK 495. Uh, so, let's just slow down. Denver Paxton and HK 495 to Ehot. And uh, onwards, yeah. So, let's load that one up. And uh, then what we're going to do is we'll be doing a radar back to our last nine. I'm taking a guess, so uh, sex approach. RLS 04 left, uh, just having a quick scroll down to make sure we haven't really mucked anything up because there's a million approaches here. RLS 04 left, uh, let's go for vectors for the time being. Uh, and Barbo. And what we want to do is. Arrival approach and let's have a look at the plates. RLS04 left. 334, touch up above airfield, airfield, all rubbish here, 234, so that'll make sense. 334. Uh, so we're rounding that up to 340. And uh, basically, the other thing to check 119 points, uh, sorry, 111.9 for the localizer frequency, and uh, basically everything else looks good, so I'll flip flop up. So what we'll do, we'll load that. So basically, we're all prepared. Uh, I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. My wings are coming in nice again. I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. Uh, may not happen, but 
you can only sort of prepare for it and then uh, think about what you're going to do. So, uh, yep, yeah, uh, the RLS is fairly standard. We'll talk about that as we're going down it. But uh, looking at the dividend for Bravo, uh, fairly straightforward dividend, not below flight level 100, and HK Hotel Kilo 945, not below uh, 3,000 feet. He hopes not below 2,300, and then we'll be on for. Uh, Bit of vectors for uh, zero four left. Looking up at the notes at the top, um, aircraft vectors to final. Uh, yep, fair enough. Uh, Starmers are flying the current waypoints. Yep, the uh, second will be by ATC. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, altitude, flight levels, few constraints. I don't think that's going to apply to today. We're doing you know, like 120 knots and tails of 160. <laughs> Continues to buy ATC. Challenge accepted. Yeah, so uh, that's what that looks like. So uh, when we get a little bit closer, we start sort of uh, actually uh, flying the star and uh, flying the uh, approach. Uh, I'll probably say hello to you guys. But uh, yeah, till then, see ya. Right, so uh, let's get the screen recording on so you can see what I'm up to. So having a look at the map, uh, flight plan across the Baltic Sea. And uh, a little bit of weather here and there, so we're in a bit of uh, like turbulence at the moment. Um, yeah, so uh, we're ready to take our descent very shortly. I've got the VNAP program in since Helsinki, there's nothing going on here at the moment. They've uh, cleared us direct to uh, one of the initial approach fixes, and the uh, top descent is in uh, 1 minute and 44 seconds time. So uh, he did originally clear us for the uh, different for Bravo uh, star, but uh, that's no longer happening. It uh, starts normally to uh, for two things. First of all, noise preferential routes, and second of all, sequence traffic. So uh, since there's no traffic, and uh, well, this thing is uh, silent as anything. Uh, yeah, basically we don't uh, we don't need to do the stop. So uh, uh, it's clear to start to uh, pot up which, if we have a look at the uh, RLS, is the initial approach fix. Uh, it's the initial approach fix there. So, uh, yeah, I've uh, had a great look at the RLS place. Fairly simple one. Uh, I'm not going to run it through, through all of the play because we did that on the last flight. But, uh, yeah, basically we've got the highlights. We're going to we'd still need to identify. The missed approach is nice and simple. Straight ahead, sort of 580 feet and left to turn 355 to 2000. Don't expect very light back swing. Uh, with this wind as well, probably uh, maybe 120 knots on the airspeed. Uh, I'm just thinking it's quite windy on the approach. I want to have a bit of a buff margin, and I've got a super long runway, so I don't need to be, you know, on point with the figures. Uh, so we'll probably have a rate of 700 knots uh, with 550, uh, 530 feet per minute, and a minimum is 340 feet, which we have a look here. Uh, well, it's 334 on the plate, 340, which we've got programmed here, and that will give us the uh, minimums. So I'm just going to request a send now. November 4, two, Lima Romeo, uh, Mr. November 4, two, Lima Romeo, Z5, 100. 100, November 4, two, Lima Romeo. 100 in there, we've got VNAV, push the VNAV plus in here. You get a vertical path there, B path captured, and the aircraft will start to descend. Um, Right, it's going to get bumpy, I reckon, so I am going to pull the flosses back on this one. Let's try for about 40%. And I suspect they're going to have to start using... Uh, anti-icing fluid because look at the wings have got light rhyme anyway so that goes on to normal defrost goes on yeah so uh, we're all fairly set up for the approach then so uh, we're estimating uh, that time what time are we estimating do 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 13.13 and the time now is 12.50 so uh, at about 20 minutes time we're expecting to uh, land which is pretty good uh, so, uh, yeah, quite looking forward to that, looking forward to going out and stretching my legs, to be honest with you, because it's uh, been a hell of a long day. Go and get a beer in the bar or something. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, so looking at the, uh, so again, I'll try and keep it fully covered. It is windy as anything, though, so I may have to sort of intervene with the also part of it, just going to have to play that one by ear. And, uh, yeah, there's no no sort of approach around or anything. I'll just get the latest, uh, the late, next ATIS will be out very shortly, so I'll get that just for a, a bit of a reminder of the uh, latest weather. And uh, looking at the airfield chart, uh, they said four, and that's the docking chart. Last one, Richard. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, airfield chart. So they said four, uh, so I haven't quite looked at the notes, etc. So it's four left, uh, they expect. Uh, 
light twin piston turbo prop six vacate on uh, Whiskey Mike, which is the uh, sort of run off there. So, uh, what I may do, since it's a three pass meter away, so I just land slightly long and uh, sort of play that one by air. And then, worst case, if it's uh, if I haven't left it with loot and yeah, too long, we've got Whiskey Kilo and all sorts of uh, all sorts of other holds to use, you know, not exactly performance limited in this thing. Yeah, and then uh, probably the hardest part of the flight, which will be uh, to actually find our uh, parking, which I think is on the southeastern side. Uh, somewhere around here. Um, might be wrong, you never know. November Lima Romeo, going to descent 2300 feet, QNH 1006. Descent 2300 feet, QNH 1006, November 4 Lima Romeo. And November Lima Romeo, you are cleared. I'll approach runway 04 left. Cleared, I'll approach runway 04 left, November 4 Lima Romeo. Uh, lots of uh, sort of precipitation hitting the aircraft. You can see the front of the engine cowlings have all got ice. Uh, the wings have got a small build-up. I'm going to keep it on normal for the moment. Uh, windscreen, I might just uh, defrost that, and I might need to give it a spurt once we get towards the hourglass. Maybe when we get to some warmer air. I probably did a pre-landing. So uh, okay, so fuel we're not transferring at the moment. So, uh, lights are on at the top, and fuel pumps are on, one and two here, alternate air remains with flaps up, air remains not cross-feeding, parking brake is off, and just give it a squidge on the pedals, make sure it's a firm pressure, which we've got, and uh, everything else is set, so our speed landing's complete. Yeah, it's a fair chunk actually. Um, is it for uh, turn my glasses off? No, probably it's quite right. There you go, so you can see on the windscreen all that ice is... Uh, well, that's just about to go any second now, isn't it? The wings, uh, they're fairly clear at the moment. The de-icing cycle keeps on going for every uh, two minutes, two and a half minutes. Still need to remember which one it is. So uh, you can see that uh, they're doing their job. Also having a look down on the... Oh. As well. Also having a look down on the inner stub as well. It's actually starting to melt. So I'm going to say I'm going to turn the icing system off. Save the fluid. We've got 24 litres left. We've got the 10 litres in the boots as well. So hopefully that should get us home. Well, it's the big day. 060, 20 knots. So... Yeah, a little bit right. That's the surface by the way. The wind appears uh, massively more to the, you know, four weeks itself. 42 knot crosswind, and I have to say it's actually extremely smooth. Quite interesting, you can just see the drift pitch of the aircraft. I got this set track up, so we now actually have a look at the radar pictures quite slanted off to the right. So, uh, there you go, now we found the bumps, standard. Oh, it comes back again. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you can actually see how much drift we've got on. I mean, 44 knots on the side at the moment, so, uh, yeah, 20 degrees of drift. Yeah, Tr tracking 051, and we're heading uh, 069. Uh, there you go, you can have a look at the jet map, you can see that we're uh, just come on to the left hand corner of it. So VNAV is kind of to be at 2300 feet at bottom. November 4 to Lima Romeo, what is your speed now? Uh, our speed is 120 but we're in uh, moderate turbulence, so this is probably the best we can do. Okay, thanks. VNAV 166, fly heading uh, 035. We'll be back to those approach runway 04 left. You can expect uh, three down track points. Heading uh, 035, vector 4 left. 04 left. No, no, I've got a complete plus one six. Yeah. yeah, I'd say your spot's did a pretty good job flying this. Um, all I'm sort of doing is giving it a nudge when you can feel the aircraft going too far in one direction, it's also just helping out because it hasn't got the quick response that 
Yeah, it's what we've got. It's a slightly more docile system. So, top of drop, MPEV. Expected. 6.8 day. Speed Force 166, turn left heading 310, left heading 310, Force 166. Speed Force 166, descent 2300 feet. Down to 2300 feet, Speed Force 166. Uh, activate spec is the final, final approach shack to come up, confirming that's 038, 038 we've got. Followed it with a heading bug. So I'm working quite hard here. Uh, Mr. Poach will be uh, 2000. So have that on slags. November 42 Lima Romeo, look like it's established 9 mile. November 42 Lima Romeo. 46 on the nose. 30 from the side. Coming okay, to half scale there. Pin force 166, then a right heading 340. Right 340, pin force 166. Let's try to go for 100 to 110. I suspect the speed will vary quite a bit. Right, so ever so slightly uh, left of track on the glide. Some more helping hand with the autopilot part of it. Slightly out. All looking good aside, three greens, haven't been clear to land. Uh, the four two Lima Romeo, got the tower, one one eight decimal eight five zero. Four one eight eight five zero, could they have a four two Lima Romeo? Yep. Helsinki Tower, good afternoon, November 4, 2 Lima Romeo, 04 left at uh, 5.4 mile. Right, November 4, 2 Lima Romeo, wind 0, 6, 0 degrees, 2, 2 knots, runway 0, 4 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 0, 4 left, November 4, 2 Lima Romeo. Work out four miles. <laughs> Tell you what, the concentration on this is unreal. Probably why I'm not talking too much. Starting to get some decent ground content now, which is a bit of a, uh, a plus. Ah, I got the lights. Pilots out. Good job, also pilot. That's a pretty, uh, pretty neat approach. Okay, so leaving the glide slope, we're going high. We're 
Whiskey Mike, the uh, high speed runoff. I think I can sing. There you go. So just keeping some speed on it is quite gusty condition, so I just want that safety factor. And about the power of Fin Force 166, zero for left. Power of Fin Force 166. Are you going to do business after landing? Hey, fam. Roger. So again, from around 100. Minimums. Minimums. So probably 90 uh, and 85 to uh, sort of flare this out. Thought they weren't jerky when they said this wrong way was contaminated. There you go. So. Holding it off there. Bit of wing down. Keeping it straight. There you go. Up and down. Nice, but the P's on for us. Wind on the aircraft. Still got 45 knots on. Taxi via left and via Whiskey, Delta and Yankee. And hold short of front bay 2 2 left on taxi via Yankee. Okay, Whiskey Delta, Yankee, hold short of 2 2 left on uh, Yankee and about 40 to There you go, landing at time 1 6. Finforce 166, wind 060 zero, zero degrees 2 3 knots 0 4 left, clear to land. Yeah, honestly, I, uh, that had me going a little bit. I had to say, the autopilot um, is pretty good at this thing, actually, it's very good. Um, it could be a little bit slow, so what was mainly sort of happening there is the autopilot was flying it, and occasionally, just when it couldn't keep up, I just gave it that sort of final nudge. Bless my health, some poor... Uh, I've got to be careful with this wind, actually. Have a look at I've got 30 knots apparently going around this corner. 06, 06, we're almost getting straight into it. So Whiskey Delta Yankee you taxi with, I think we'll see uh, south side of the airport, which we're going to see. Delta, and then it'll be a left turn to a Yankee. Then hold short of the two to left or zip for right, should we look at it? November 4 to Lima Rome via Yankee cross runway 04 right, taxi to Yankee 2. Oh, Yankee cross 04 right, taxi to Yankee 2, November 4 to Lima Rome. Joo, matkustajalle se on kunnossa ja... Yankee 2, so that's after, straight after the holding points actually, yeah, on the other side. There you go, stop bars are gone on the runway. Base almost four right pedal just to keep it straight. No, no, clear left. November 4 to Lima Rome, follow Marshall and uh, to holding point Yankee Lima. Okay, follow, follow me, Carl. Yankee Lima, November 4 to Lima, thank you. Alright, now remain my frequency. Remain on your frequency. Force 
Oh, at least follow me, car 6, so crash off a little bit. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I sort of I knew it'd be bumpy, but uh, I just didn't appreciate it be, you know, sort of just within that capacity. So, anyway, guys, that's been an amazing trip. Hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I'll speak to you on the return leg. Ciao, ciao.